you know? When you're just having a bad eyeshadow day and you just throw glitter on it. Glitter makes everything better. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a first impression and full day wear test on the new Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation. I got the shade LW2, which is the lightest warm color shade that they have. Go ahead and show you a swatch of it right there against my hand. Now, according to their website, which is where I bought this from, I purchased the foundation and two of their little lippies from their website. Shipping did take about a week from the day it was shipped until it got to my door. According to their website, this is supposed to be a nice medium coverage foundation for all skin types with SPF 20. This does come with one fluid ounce of product, which is standard for foundation, and the actual applicator is a big doe foot. I will say the packaging is really nice, it's really sturdy, it's nice glass packaging. Only thing is that it does get fingerprints really easily on the top right there. And for the actual product itself, you have to use the doe foot part because the inside does have a stopper, so you can't really pour the product out. So if you would like to see how the Healthy Foundation from Physicians Formula applies and wears throughout the day, just hang in there and we'll jump right into it. So it's right around, what, 5.30 a.m.? Means it's time for foundation and coffee. Mostly coffee, but then also foundation. I've already washed, moisturized, and primed. I've used my two favorites to prime. I have the NYX Studio Perfect Photo Loving Primer, and then I used the Revlon Photo Ready Pore Reducing Primer just right here where my pores are, like, gigantic. So for the first time today, I'm trying out the Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation. I have to say they are absolutely killing it with this packaging. The packaging is beautiful, let's not blind you. The packaging is stunning. I got the color LW2, which was the lightest warm color, and it still did look pretty dark online. So, I am not swatch this yet at all either. Ooh. So you open it and it comes with like a huge doe foot applicator. It reminds me a lot of the What's that one? The Neutrogena Hydro Boost also came with like a giant doe foot. Okay, it doesn't really go onto a palette well, so I'm probably just going to have to put this directly on my face. Not sure about this color. Yeah. On the palette, I have to say it looks a lot cooler, which is a little strange. You know, I don't like the idea of having to like dab it on and then stick it back in here. Um, but it doesn't really transfer well onto a palette, so it's unless I like turn it over and like pour it out. But from the way the bottle is, you can't really like pour anything out, which is not great. So I'll use a beauty blender on this side of the face, and then I have a crown brush that I got in my last boxy charm that I'll use on this side of the face. It doesn't really smell like anything. This smells like a normal light makeup. Okay, so on one layer, I'm getting really light coverage. It's a really nice color match, but there's it's really just evening out my skin tone. It doesn't really have coverage. You can see all of my breakouts right there, even the ones down here. I'm going to see if I can build it with the Beauty Blender before I go on to the other side. It definitely builds with the sponge. We're looking at like a, a medium coverage right now. I'm still seeing breakouts, but all my freckles are covered. A couple of the breakouts up there are covered. This might work better with a brush, so let's go ahead and try that. I would definitely say the brush is the way to go on this one. I'm getting the same amount of coverage on one layer with the brush as I am with two layers and the beauty blender. So I think I'm going to see if I can build it with the brush right up here where I have a lot of breakouts and then if anything just kind of smooth out the breakouts that I have on this side of the brush. So this is how it looks fully applied. We have about two and a half layers on this side with the sponge, the last one with the brush, and then this side is just two layers with the brush. I am 
really liking the way it sits on my skin on this side of the face. I would definitely use a brush if I was going to use this foundation again. The only thing is that the coverage on my actual breakouts isn't as great as I would like it to be, so I'll probably have to go in and spot conceal those. I won't do that today just so I can see how the foundation wears, but if I were to use this again, probably spot concealing my larger breakouts. The smaller one on my chin is doing a good job of covering up. So it is 547 right now. I'm going to go ahead and call that the check-in time for throughout the day. I'm going to go ahead and put on the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. So the rest of my makeup is done except for my lips. I did pick up two shades of their new The Healthy Lip Velvet Finish lipsticks. I got the color All Natural Nude, which is a nice dark kind of rosy color. And then I also picked up the color, what is it called? Red Storative Effects is a really beautiful red color. Now I did use both of these before this video. I wore the red one to a holiday party that I went to and then I wore the nude one all day, was it yesterday or the day before? I adore this lip formula. It is really comfortable on the lips. It is very opaque, like it's red. It's one swipe is full pigment. Let me just go ahead and swatch this one. it is gorgeous um, now I will say the nude does take a little bit longer to dry down but they do dry down this this one took about 10 minutes to dry down fully while the red one does dry down within like less than five minutes I love both of these as soon as I can I'm either gonna order the rest of the colors online or if I see them in store I will pick them up but for today I'm gonna go ahead and wear the nude one The applicator on these is also really nice. It really helps you get into the corner and make a nice sharp line along the bottom and then flip it and it really helps you get your cupid's bow. I am enjoying the finish of the foundation right now. It didn't set down right away so I ended up setting it with the powder. I set it with my hourglass um, ambient lighting powder in diffused light just very lightly across the face. I'm wearing the butter bronzer right there. My highlight is the um, what is my highlight? My highlight is the Essence Pure Nude color. Love this for a nice subtle highlight. I'm wearing it there and on the cupid's bow. On my eyes I have uh, a new eyeshadow palette that I was using. Wasn't a huge fan of it but you know when you're just having a bad eyeshadow day and you just throw glitter on it glitter makes everything better. So that is everything. I will go ahead and try to do a check-in in the middle of the day. I do have work. It's going to be a long work day. So if I can do a check-in at around the five hour mark, I will. If not, I will see you at the end of the day. This is like the worst first world problem to have, but I hate having to wait until my lipstick dries to keep drinking coffee because I could just go in and drink the coffee, but then I would ruin the lipstick. I snuck this check-in in at 12.30, which is about seven and a half hours of wear time for the foundation. The only places where I was seeing some breakdown and wearing off was right around the sides of my nose in like the crevices on the side, and it was getting quite a bit oily on the tip of the nose. Everywhere else looked pretty great at the seven and a half hour mark. So it is just after four o'clock. So it is just after 4, it's about 4.10 to be exact. The foundation's been on for just over 10 and a half hours. And this is how it's looking. I did get oily right here on my nose. And it did break down a little bit along the sides right there. But everywhere else, I'm actually really happy with the way it held up. It is a little light. So I think this one would be a great mixing foundation for a couple of my other like darker foundations that are more higher coverage. So overall, I am happy with the foundation. It's a nice price, it's a nice shade, great for mixing, and it does hold up throughout the day. The lip color actually held up pretty well. I did not reapply it, it just wore off a little bit on the corners. But it's very comfortable, it lasted for the majority of the day. I probably could have um, reapplied it after I ate lunch, but this was after eating and drinking a lot of coffee. 
so yeah if I have any updates about the foundation if I'm able to try it or mix it I'll go ahead and include it in the description box any updates other than that I hope you'll give this a thumbs up if you liked it and I hope you'll subscribe to hang out with me in some of my other videos thanks bye